That woman tried to book a party at a roller rink when she got a response saying they don't do business with blacks, but the rink used a different term. The owners of the rink says their Facebook was hacked, but as News 13's Brianna Gallegos reports from Santa Fe, that still doesn't smooth everything over. It's advertised as family fun. I've been going there a lot of times, you know, growing up from the Boys and Girls Club, and we've always had our little outings there. Michelle Jefferson grew up in Santa Fe, and for as long as she can remember, Rock and Roller's skating rink was a popular place for birthday parties. So last year, we had my daughter's birthday party there. She says last year was fun, so this year her daughter wanted to go there again. Jefferson says she called, left messages, then sent a private message on Facebook. But the response she got back blew her away. I couldn't believe it, <laughs> basically. I didn't want to believe it, and I didn't get any response back, so I figured maybe it's true. There has to be some truth to it. It says, sorry, we don't do business with colored people. Read our new policy. It's hard to explain to your kids. You know, somebody said because of the color of our skin, we're not allowed at, an, at their establishment. The owners of Rock and Rollers denied an interview with us, but posted on Facebook saying we were hacked by a former employee who was like family to them, then stated they are not racist and would never write such a thing. The whole ordeal triggered a firestorm on social media with some people calling for a boycott and calling the business racist, while others came to the owner's defense saying it couldn't be true. But Jefferson says despite their Facebook apology to the people of Santa Fe, she still hasn't gotten a personal apology. Why why not reach out? It's that that's that easy to reach out and say, "Hey, we're sorry. We had no intentions." In Santa Fe, Brianna Gallegos, KRQE News 13. Rock and Roller's Facebook page has now been taken down. In their Facebook apology, the owners do say they understand how Michelle must feel, and they say they are going to report the former employee who logged into their account, even though he was like family to them.